Hello everyone and welcome back to another guide for Destiny 2 Shadowkeep. Today we'll be finally looking at the memory of Toland the Shattered. Now, this is actually a really really easy memory compared to the last one. I mean the Veltarlo one was easy now that I know that you can end up killing adds no matter what. But for a memory of Toland, it gets way easier. So, we need to go find a Trove Guardian. And we have to loot the chest. Trove Guardian spawns in different places every single week. In Archer's Line, in the Anchor of Light, and in the Hellmouth. I'm going to show you all three locations that I have found so far. So from the Sanctuary, you want to go into the Anchor of Light. And once you're in the Anchor of Light, the Trove Guardian spawns around the corner of the Anchor of Light, if that makes sense. You'll see on screen. So right around this area. He is not in this area, this is just one of his potential spawn locations as the weeks progress, because we don't know which week it'll be where he spawns. Next one is in the Hellmouth, he's actually on the entirely different side of the Hellmouth. When you keep going from the Anchor of Lightway or the Archer's Lineway, past the middle, more towards where the public event spawns with the Hive Witch Ritual, the Trove Guardian spawns there. As you can see, he spawns right around this area where all there's like 6,000 pikes. As for his actual spawn, he is in Archer's Line this week. Like I said, the spawn variation is different every week. We don't really know where he'll spawn, but it seems to be in weeks of four. Unfortunately, I do not know which uh, location is for Soros Harbor, as this is you know recorded before he even goes there. So for Archer's Line, what you want to do is you want to go to the very corner of the map and over around this area with the downed crane and the downed cylinder basically when you enter sanctuary and you go to the very left this is one of the first areas that comes up over in this area here the trove guardian will spawn there's you know there's a hive ship overhead you'll see tolan just chilling in a crater and the trove guardian spawns in that crater as you can see he's right there simply walk up to him shotgun him super him melee him whatever you want to do and then the pathway will then go in front of you. Simply follow the pathway as I am doing on screen, and then you will end up getting to the chest. You have to loot the chest to be able to proceed with the bounty. The next part of the bounty is actually going to be a little bit tricky because it doesn't tell you exactly what you have to do. Well, it does, but to be honest, even I was a bit confused of it, so I'm going to explain to you what to do. Once you loot the chest, it'll say to pick up 35 pages from ads killed with hive relic swords this doesn't have to be on the moon let me just specify that this doesn't have to be on the moon the 35 pages specifically says you have to kill combatants with the relic doesn't say moon and it doesn't say they have to be hive for some reason i thought they had to be hive they don't they just have to be any single ad in any location with the sword keyword any location so what you can do is you can be smart like you know 90 percent of the destiny player base that's a little bit of a joke and then just kill the ads every normal ad drops one while every major drops three seems to be the pattern of this dlc where normals drop one and majors drop three i'm assuming then then barrier knights drop two yeah i'm not gonna write that down because it's fine so as you can see you can do what i did go in the public event and have people kill it or we can do the faster route, because this is a guide for the fastest time. Go to Mars and load up any single escalation protocol. Get to the point where you have to actually kill the hive crystals scattered above, where you have to stand in the whole uh, green circle. Once you stand in that circle, simply kill the eyes, shoot the crystals, and then a knight will spawn. Kill that knight, and you will get a sword. This is a thousand times easier because there's literally a hundred different majors in this area. Just keep cutting them down. As you can see, there's literally one acolyte there, another acolyte there, and you will get this done in under a minute. Instead of me, you know, wasting my time in public events for 25 minutes waiting for them. Anyway, so the final step is we have to return to Eris Morn. And this has actually been the quick guide. So I am actually going to let this play out because... I like to let you guys hear the cutscene, so I will shut up. Here's the cutscene. They have no worms. How do they commune with the darkness? Do not mock me. Toland is not the only one capable of understanding the enemy.
That is one of Tolan's lost journals. I have never laid eyes upon it. He knew. He knew about this pyramid. He must have. And said nothing. Thank you for being here. For going where I couldn't. I should not miss Toland. His ruthless pursuit of knowledge led to his downfall. He is not even gone. His spirit lingers, buoyed by the ascendant plane. And yet, a fire team's bonds are not so easily undone. Toland. His spirit came to visit me here on the moon. He told me you saw him in the Dreaming City. His curiosity makes him predictable. I knew he could not resist a marvel like the Queen's Eleusinia. And that is the mission, guys. I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching. If you can do me a favor, hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, and comment down below what you want to see next. I really liked the amount of support we got on the last memory. Do me a favor, let's get to 20 likes, and, you know, let's, let's just subscribe. Thank you guys so much, and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care, and have a great day. Peace out.